All right, before watching the WIC video, did you know about WIC? If so, did you know how extensive their support services are? What do you think WIC can improve so that their resources are more utilized by those who are eligible? Before watching the WIC video, I knew about WIC, but I didn't know a ton of information about it. I didn't know how extensive their support services were, and I think that having these services available for women who cannot afford to get formula or even have the ability to get food or even resources on specific healthcare services, um, I think something that I think that WIC can improve could improve so that their resources are more utilized by those who are eligible. Um, but when it comes to food, you need to make sure that the food that you are purchasing falls under the specific categories that are um, that are under the qualifying. Um, so with that, um, I think that's that's one of the limitations that WIC has, and I think that's something that could be improved on. Considering the persistent disparities in infant and mor maternal mortality rates across different demographic groups in the United States, what policy recommendations do you believe are most crucial for addressing those disparities and improving outcomes for mothers and infants? How can policymakers ensure that these recommendations are implemented effectively and equitable to achieve meaningful progress in reducing infant and maternal mortality rates nationwide or even locally? The policies that could help improve or even help address these disparities and improving outcomes for mothers and infants would be to improve like um, the maternal health education or even making sure that people who live in rural areas are able to have those are able to have those um, in home visits. I say this because this can help make sure that mothers that need the necessary help have access to these resources and to make sure that the mother and the, the infants are able to go to those resources and to help make sure that anyone who needs to have those in-home visits are able to have those in-home visits because they live so far away from a hospital. As healthcare educators and administrators, why is it important to know about risk factors and that we cannot change, such as the race of the mother or pre-existing conditions? If we cannot change them, should we just not care about them? It is important to know about risk factors that we cannot change, but to make sure that we are protecting people who are more at risk and for specific people who don't have access to healthcare facilities and to make sure that when we do have someone who is pregnant, especially someone who is of color, that we need to make sure that everyone is getting the same level of care and to make sure that everyone is getting the same resources as well. Having these specific things openly available for everyone and to make sure that they are available for people who live in rural areas and don't have the ability to get to a hospital when they need it, which is when the in-home visits come into play.